I think what will surprise many postdocs is that the postdoc is not really rewarded in any sector except for academia, and that the chances of getting an academic job are going down over time. They're about 20%. So if a postdoc is in a postdoc for four to six years, they're giving up approximately three years worth of salary when they start in either the private sector, where most of them end up, or the government sector. Well, about 80% of uh, PhD students enter a postdoc immediately. And, but of that 80%, uh, another 80% of that group uh, don't end up in academia, so they don't get that tenure track job where the postdoc is most valuable. So as a result, they, don't, they start at the same level of salary as a brand new PhD, and they're giving up all of this uh, earnings potential while they're doing the postdoc. Universities need to be aware that the postdoc is not preparing students for the jobs that they're most likely to take. So it would be useful for advisors to talk to industry people and figure out what would be useful in terms of training biomedical PhDs so that when they finish their degree, they're ready to start working. Second, uh, there should be term limits on postdocs. And finally, uh, paying postdocs more would decrease the reliance of scientists on more expensive postdocs and maybe shift postdocs into permanent staff scientist positions.